now we are watching uh, human nervous system human nervous system uh, consists of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord whereas uh, peripheral nervous system consists of motor nerves sensory nerves and autonomic nervous systems autonomic nerves and part of sensory nerves are classified as uh, small fiber and the part of uh, sensory nerve and motor nerves are called large fibers the small fibers usually respond to heart rate changes bp uh, sweating cold and warm sense whereas the large fiber responds to touch vibration A digital biothermometer model vibro test is one of our fast moving product it is can can also be called as electronic tuning fork where the frequency is fixed but the intensity can be varied between 0 and 50 volts it is very portable and easy to handle so this is the kit for the digital biothermometer vibro test it comes in a padded bag and now we will see the available kit content so you will be getting this is the total kit consists of uh, the vibro test unit and then the vibration probe then the mains cable so for just for demonstration purpose we have kept it like this otherwise every item will be neatly packed in a bubble sheet and then sent for uh, the customer and it will be also supplied with a manual a detailed manual which describes about different applications about the controls and then we also supply a patient uh, recording booklet it comes about I mean we supply about 25 sheets then if you want you can buy from us or you can print your own patient reporting format so here you will get the patient name details and then the numbers at which patients feel the vibration and then the average and then final impression has to be written by the user so as per this particular recording right foot 23 left foot 18 that means uh, on the left foot uh, definite uh, and early involvement uh, we call it as mild loss of vibration perception and in the right foot it is moderate loss of vibration perception we need to take care if the value is more than 25 that means it clearly indicates the patient is very high risk foot we need to take care of the foot at any cost When the unit is switched on, you will get an indication called DFC, that's diabetic foot care, and then you will get some number. So usually it will start with 00. zero. As you increase this knob, the number also increases. It starts from 0, it goes up to maximum 50. When it goes beyond 45, so it gives you an warning indicating you are on the highest value of vibration so when you, whenever you switch off the machine uh, we should bring it back to zero and then we have to switch it off here you have the check switch so the check switch is used for stopping the vibration and same check key is also available on this probe for convenience we can check with, the, with this key also so record key is not uh, useful for this particular model that is used in our next higher end model called the vibrometer. This record is mainly for transferring the data displayed on the number to the computer. We have computer connectivity in the other machine. For transferring the data it is used uh, to transfer it actually. Before starting the test we need to explain to the patient about the functionality of the instrument uh, what they will feel so that we will get the better result usually before doing the test on the foot we will be doing it on the hand because usually hands are more sensitive so we can we can able to find out uh, whether 
the patient also able to find out the vibration the feeling the pattern and then he can able to feel it in the foot when we are testing in the foot do you feel any vibration yes do you still feel no do you feel it yes so this check is is used to stop the vibration so now the patient understood the concept so now whatever results we are getting in the foot uh, will be more accurate now i will be testing the same thing in the foot now we will be doing in the foot these are the different uh, spots which are being tested on the foot you can see uh, it is uh, great toe first third fifth metatarsal instep and heel if you look into the foot so great toe first metatarsal third metatarsal fifth metatarsal head instep and heel so in these points we will be testing it we should not push the probe on the foot we will be should be gently touching the probe now i am increasing the vibration so we will find out at what value patient gets the vibration do you feel it now no do you feel it now no now mm, yes do you feel it now no now yes so he is getting at 23 at great toe uh, let's see in other spots first metatarsal head so do you feel it now no now no now no now no now mm, yes do you feel it now no now yes so he is getting 23 at first metatarsal head now we will be checking at uh, third metatarsal so i am increasing it do you feel it now no now lightly now yes so now lightly okay we will now check the press on the probe key there is a button that check press it do you feel it now no yes so 20 uh, 20 second is the value in the third metatarsal head so we will do it in the fifth metatarsal do you feel it now no sorry uh, now no now no now like it now yes so he said uh, 23 slightly so i will keep it at 22 do you feel it now no now no now slightly okay check do you feel it now no do you feel now yes so 23 is the value so so in step do you feel it now no do you feel it now no now no now slightly now no slightly okay 24 in in step we will do it in heel now do you feel it now no now no now no now yes check no okay 
so we need to record all these values in this chart so in grade 2 you are seeing at 22 then 23 24 24 23 24 how we will do it on the other foot same way we will do it faster do you feel it now no i am keeping it zero so he will not be feeling it so i am making it 10 do you feel it no I will make it 20, let's see. I am making it 15. Do you feel now? No. Now? Yes. Check. Do you feel now? No. Now? Yes. So 18, he is getting at first method also. Now we will change it to. 10 now first okay do you feel it now no do you feel it now yes do you feel it now no do you feel it now yes check do you feel it now no now yes so 18 here also is getting 18 third method also so I make it 10 do you feel it no. 15. No. 18. No. Yes. Check. No. Now. Yes. Okay. 18, 18, 19. Fifth metal dazzle. Do you feel it now? No. Now. No. Now? No. Now? Yes. Okay. 18. So, 18, 18, 19, 18. So, now we will do it in the in step. Do you feel it now? No. Now 10. No. Now? No. Now? Yes. Now? No. Now? Yes. Okay, check. No. Now? Yes. So 17 is getting at in step. We will do it in the heel. Do you feel it now? No. Do you feel it now? No. Do you feel it now? No. Now? Yes. Now? No. Now? Yes. Check. Now? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. 18 and 19. We need to do the average of the spot. Now you can see on the right foot it is 23, the average, on the left foot it is 18. So right foot is considered since it is more than 20, he is coming under moderate and the left foot uh, is less than 20, between 16 and 20. So it comes under mild loss of vibration perception. So this is very simple to operate and simple tool for diagnosing the loss of vibration perception in the diabetic neuropathy patients replace it and then with the new one and then tighten it then the fuse will be ready when the fuse is okay when the power is connected again so the light will glow so now the power cable is connected now when if the fuse is okay then the light will glow So this indicates the uh, fuse is good or bad, that's it. 
So far we have seen how the product is working and the results are as follows. When the vibration is 15 volts and less it is considered normal. Between 16 and 20 it is called mild loss. 21 to 25 it is considered moderate loss and above 25 is severe loss. So in any case beyond 25 indicates uh, foot is at high risk and we need to take care of the patient's foot very carefully and we have to advise him uh, proper footwear to avoid ulcerations. Thank you for watching the video. We appreciate your comments. In case if you need any information, please do contact us. Please do write an email or contact our mobile number. For service related issues, you can contact our service department. We once again sincerely thank you for watching the video and look forward to your comments.